Good day everyone. I am Shilami Arsenyanko, your discussion for today. Today, I'm going to report about competency testing in music theory and history. Let's start with the introduction. Pursuant to NASM guidelines and Penn State School of Music Policy, a basic competency in music theory and history is ex is expected of all graduate students, including those students with a bachelor's degree in music from Penn State. Sinasabi dito na ang mga estudyante ng Penn State School of Music kasama ang mga nag-graduate ng mag-aaral na may bachelor degree ay kinakailangan kumuha ng pagsusuri bilang alinsunod sa mga alituntunin o kaya sa patakaran ng NASM. Next is Music Theory. Music Theory has three parts. The oral skills, tonal harmony, tonal analysis. Unahin natin yung oral skills. Ang oral skills ay natatangin sa pagbibigay diin sa pagbuo ng isang pandama or pandinig. Bilang isang mahalagang bahagi, example kung kaya mong una, marinig at ayusin ng iyong intonasyon. Ito yung pagtaas baba ng tono ng iyong boses habang nagpiplay. Makilala o makilatis agad ang mga pitch sa isang kanta o ang mga chords. Next is, kapag nakita mo ang lyrics, mabibisualize mo agad yung tono at rhythm ng kanta. At kung makakayang makasabay sa beat ng tugtog, nadidevelop, nadidevelop ang sense of hearing or abilidad ng isang tao sa musika kung ito ay nakakasanayan. Next is tonal harmony. Ito yung movement sa pagitan ng chords at tono. Example, sa gitara, maglilipat ka ng chords, kailangan na sabit pa rin yung kasunod or nasa tono, tono pa din. Next is tonal analysis. Ito yung kung saan ina-analyze sa pamagitan ng graph or kung tawagin na Senkerian graph. Dito malalaman kung gaano kataas ang tono at kung ano ang nota ang tinutukay. Next is music history and styles of western art music. For 1750 music after 1750, students all graduate degrees program must take competency examination in music theory and music history. These exams must be passed or remedial course work completed prior to enrolling in any advanced coursework. Um, ito yung pinaka-final sa ating mga estudyante. Kumbaga, sa panahon natin ngayon, meron tayong mga final examination or thesis na kailangan ipasa para makapagtapos. Next is testing procedure. All entering student in all graduate degree programs must take this examination at the first opportunity. These exams are designed to determine whether the student's knowledge meets the standard of the appropriate undergraduate course in a particular area of music history or theory. Katulad nga nga banggit kanina, kailangan mo nang maipasa ng mga graduating student ang kanilang exam para malaman kung namit pa nila ang mga standard ng kanilang kurso. Dalawa ang mga pwedeng kalabasan ng exam na ito, kung ito ba ay fail or pass. Pass. The student has passed the exam. No further demonstration of competency is required. The student may register for any upper level course in the given discipline. Sa pass, hindi na kailangan pang ipakita or i-demonstrate ang kanilang kakayahan dahil pumwasa na sila sa exam. Next is fail. The student has failed the exam. There are two subtypes of this category. Ang mga estudyante na hindi makakapasada daan sa dalawang category. Ito yung high fail or yung fail. High fail. Although the student has not passed the exam, the score is nearly passing as a result. He or she is strongly recommended to meet with the faculty coordinator of the particular discipline for advice as to which course of action to pursue. Ito yung mga malapit ng pumasa or konti na lang papasa na pero di pa na meet yung passing score. Magkakaroon pa sila ng concern sa mga estudyante at magkakaroon sila ng mga second chance. Fail the student has not passed the exam and may not register in upper level course, work in the field areas of history and or theory. It is recommended 
that the student enroll in the appropriate remedial course in history and or in theory. Ito yung mga di talaga makakapasa or hindi na kayang mabigyan ng second chance ay kailangang mag-retake ng kanilang course tungkol sa history or sa theory.